Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Planescape Torment. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that you chose to join me today as we go into, I don't actually know the name of this place, the Mosaic Crypt. Apparently there's some secret to do over here. Done. I wonder if it's, uh, I need, if I need to put something in here or something like that. Uh, like a bracelet or something, but then again, I don't have the bracelets, unless it's this thing now. Nah. Ooh, oh yeah, I didn't, didn't learn this. Scroll of... Oh, excuse the hiccup. Scroll of Ball Lightning. The caster creates up to four glowing spheres of lightning. Oh, I've seen this in action. And I successfully learned the spell. Good stuff. Uh, where is it? It's over there. The Ball Lightning thing. Five to... Hmm. Wait a minute. Oh, you do... Oh, okay. So, uh, if you just cast one ball for some reason, because it's probably a, a, a throw... It does 4 to 48 damage. Eh, that's okay. So I can't do anything here. Uh, there's... Wait a minute. These caps are crusted... Are rusted to the ground and cannot be opened. It looks like they are controlled airflow in the crypt. Yeah, but there's a thing in here. There's a particular detail in here. Which is this. All right. I wonder if I need to die in here. Let's try it. Looks like death's come for the pill. No, that's fine. Are nope. you well? I am. Thank you, Dagon. Let's reload I'm there gone. again. I don't want to mess with uh, with death if I can right. avoid it. So I have no idea what that's for. The names and warnings inscribed in the stone have chipped away into illegibility. This probably, I mean, we probably I'm solved gone. that already by stealing the, the crypt. This was this had something to do, I think, with um. Uh oh, man, these guys are just everywhere. This had something to do with uh. Killed them. Killed them. Uh, with a. Oh boy, they. They keep spawning. With uh, that quest that we had in uh, in the Dead Nations for a lady that didn't remember her name. This is gonna be bad. It's funny that when I died, they didn't spawn. Things are going relatively well. I mean, he's got some health anyway. More days taking damage. Come on, just kill them. There we go. Good stuff. Oh, I didn't come here. This is a new place. That explains it then. This is not the area I thought it was. You guys stay there. Do this. Do this. I keep attacking me. Down it goes. Great. Okay, so this might be the the crypt of the pretties instead of the other one. I'm doubting. The crypt of the dismemberment. Please don't. I'd rather. Pre I, uh, yes, I. Oh no, there's a claw already. Okay, well. What do we have here? Shamanic Rod. It's a magic missile. Oh, yeah. I know. Plenty. Oh, it has a lot of them. Huh. I like that. I like that quite a lot. Okay, let's put it over there. So, there we go. So, we're, we now have magic missile if I want to throw it at somebody. Which is a good thing because I'm a spellcaster. Dismemberment Crypt. These gratings are slightly crusted with old dried blood. These holes lead down into the darkness. You can hear something moving down below. The stench of rotting meat rises from them. You can hear something faintly ratcheting in there. Okay. I'm gone. These are traps. That I'm... Setting off? Hmm. For some reason, these give you a bad feeling. Yeah. How did I not die? <laughs> Flakes of rust have been uh, scraped off this as if it had been recently moved. Then we have. I don't know why I'm not dying here. These beetle like coffins seem cunningly built and potentially deadly. Okay, that was. a lucky escape. Done. This is some of the now malfunctioning machinery that powers the devices above. Oh, there's cranium rats down here. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Okay, let's bring Morty over there. Go over there, Morty. Oh no, they're they're baiting me. Done. They're sure, baiting me. Or they should be anyway. Huh? Why are the devices malfunctioning? This is some yeah. Huh? Okay, we got a severed arm. This one is special apparently for whatever reason. We had a another severed arm. Look at that. Plus two to crushing damage. It adds new tattoos? It's only usable by fighters and thieves. 
So, you can't use that for some reason. Uh, upon closer inspection, you know for a fact that this army is your- what? what? This severed army is as hard as a wooden club. It looks like it was severed cleanly at the shoulder, most likely by a scythe blade. And even though it looks many decades old, it is more petrified than rotten. It has an unhealthy gray pallor and it's covered with scars, intricate tattoos, decorated surface, spiraling up from the wrist all the way up to the uh, remains of the shoulder. Upon closer inspection, you know for a fact that this arm is yours. How long it has been lying around waiting for you is anyone's guess. You can't explain why, but you feel like you should take this arm to a tattoo artist and have it examined. The tattoos might tell something of what happened to your previous incarnation when this arm was still attached to him. Okay, so it's not mine. I was kind of scared, because look at that. I have my arms. Can't use that, though. But it says right there, yours. Yeah, severed arm, yours. Okay, so the rats went away. I don't like this. I don't like this. If I can't disable the traps upstairs, I just don't like this. It's gonna be bad. It's gonna be bad. Let's see what we have over here. Can I do anything? Not really. No, no, I know, I know you have one out of 47, or 49, or whatever. So that could be a portal. This body has been horrible. oh, I, it's a body. Horribly mangled, and it looks like it's been burned, stabbed, sliced, bludgeoned, and forced through a grate. Brave Sir Robin. It's uh, in two halves, lying in a crested pool of old blood. The voice that emerges from it, though, is, uh, though, is practically jovial. And there's a tinge of maddening, uh, maddened glee to it. Hi, Burke. Well, what are you wanting? Uh, well, the answer to some questions. Mayhap I'll tell, mayhap I won't. So, what's your question? Oh, who are you? Hello then, Hank. Well, I'm Ian Bert, and sometimes Chris. Though he were nothing but a bossy piker, uh, and he was with us this last time. He was kings of the catacombs. Don't know where Bert is. Probably dead. Oh, uh, what happened to you? Uh, this, oh, by the way, if you don't remember, this is the companion of the dead guy that we found before in that other crypt. Yeah, anyway. I made a wrong turn when we was running away from where we dumped Chris, bolted in here, and before I realized my mistake, he diced up and sliced up 20 ways to peek. Ah, uh, got my pieces shoved down the grate, now, eh, well, now not even the dusties will pay for this lot. He, he lets out a, a wet chuckle that smells like swamp gas. What happened to Chris? Eh, story of his own. Mostly my idea it was, and he came off all right at first, but didn't have no clue what I was doing. Did some looking around, found out found out where a ghoul made his uh, its home, and thought we'd take old Chris down there. Turns out that oh, that ghouls make more ghouls, and they nearly had us. Shoved Chris inside and took off like a lady or like the lady herself was after us. Man, Chris is dead. Well, he is. I'd say it's a pity, but I don't think it is. Man had the heart of a worm and the soul of a serpent, and there's a reason we called him the Vulture. Figured out if I'm dead, I'm just as happy as he is, too. I'm just as happy he is, too. Oh, yeah. Okay, I have some other questions. Um, may I tell? Yes. What happened to Gris? Okay, so he goes for that again, so I asked that. Okay. So, how did you die? Made a wrong turn. Oh, that's, that's, uh, yeah, that's what I asked before. Tell me about the catacombs. A weeping stone is what we call them on account of the water often the ceiling and the crying faces on the walls. Plenty of crypts down here and plenty more we've plundered. More's the pity that we fell around a fall of them, but uh, it was bound to happen. I knew this place like the back of my hand, but it's like, all going dark on me now. Yeah, I suppose you, it is because you're all dead. Uh, anyway, farewell. Okay, so I don't think I will be able to disable all the right. machines upstairs, but this is interesting. Now, if I can right. survive, that'd be... That is gonna be fine. If not, I'm gonna need to heal. And I can. Let's see what happens. I'm gone. Ah, great. I hope he doesn't lose <laughs> his memories this time. I did, uh, I did. No, I didn't actually. Good point. No, no, it's fine. Okay, so I need to get a little bit of a heal over here. And I think we'll be fine. I'm gonna get you a heal as well. Just for good measure. Because we got plenty of these. <laughs> There you go, guys. All right. Let's get going. Keep an eye on these things. That worked. Better for me than it did for Dacon, but... Oh, this is not gonna be fine. All right. Okay, let them go. Let them go. Can I save? I can. Okay. Okay, they're not, they're not too difficult to kill. Although they do seem to flock to a, to a group. As long as Dacon doesn't die, I think we'll be fine. I think that, that one is after Dacon. Maybe. Probably the case. There we go. Good stuff. Okay, so now we definitely need to go back and rest and just do all the rest of the stuff. Uh, what I also want to do, though, is I want to go back to this guy and tell him 
that, uh, let, let's save the game here, and tell him that, uh, well, at least his friend is dead. So that's gonna be an interesting thing. I don't remember I'm what gone. thing I need to tell him, or what question. So what happened to you anyway? Yeah, they're dead. I good! Hate to think they're, they've got a way clean with me left down here to dead. Yeah, farewell. <laughs> There's nothing there. I expected I expected that not to be a thing, but at least he knows. At least he knows. I'm I guess gone. it doesn't really matter, to be honest. Because he, you can keep telling him the truth or a lie, and I guess maybe it affects our alignment or something. Anyway, let's uh, get out of here. Uh, and uh, now bar is not going to bar Dumb. our... Oh, I made that pun. Ter terrible. Let's go. Yes. Uh, show it him. Let's go. I don't really want to kind of be up be a a bastard to him we gotta gotta look for a couple of things in here so we need to look for a stash oh who here that's the other thing that we need to look for hello who here squints at you find me knife perchance yes I have here it is who here takes the knife and holds it lovingly ah you're back my lucky knife thanks cutter and you he lectures his knife shaking at it or shaking it don't you go running off again and he slides the blade into his its sheath with a smile updated my journal well I guess that was good I'm pretty sure I have already looted the stash for the guy I have no idea where it would be even I don't remember basically but I've seen everything unless it's that one it could be. It could be that one. It's pretty tricky to find. You see that? It's very tricky to find, actually, if you didn't have the tab, which, of course, was added in the Enhanced Edition. Because I'm pretty sure it, it didn't Done. exist both in Baldur's Gate 1 and in this game. Only Baldur's Gate 2 actually had the tab key to highlight things. Um, anyway, um, some questions for you, Marta. Can I rest here, please? Very well. So now, I'll be able to cast a couple of blood breaches over there. <laughs> Oh, I can't, because for some reason I disabled mine. Oh, because I want this. Stop that. Okay, good stuff. Marta, I need to rest again, please. Thank you. Very well. Let's see how that goes. Yeah, still gonna need to cast a couple more. Probably gonna need to cast another one over here. And another sleep should take care of business here. Can I rest? Thank you very much. And there we go. Perfect. Gone. So I always heal fully. I'm not really sure why I keep healing fully, or why I mean why I re even regenerate in the first place, and the others don't. I'm gone. I mean, I suppose it's got to be something to do with my condition, but the game never. I, I don't remember the game explicitly telling us what what that's all about. Uh, okay, so let's go to the shop as well. Not the shop, the shop, uh, and sell a few things. So I let's trade. Thank you very much, and I could sell him that. I'm not really sure if that will affect anything, but it's just one pri one per. Each, so uh, I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be sold as well it's, it's probably meant to be sold I'm just gonna sell it uh, then we have Morde over here with a few things it's got a oh yeah it's got all these things I need I definitely need a bag of holding uh, let's sell these things over there all of these copper stuff and bronze stuff thank you very much all of that thank you sell perfect okay now we have inventory room not really wait, more. I'm room. gone. Okay. And let's go to Farod. Finally, we're going to be able to tell Farod exactly what's going on. He's going to be very happy with us. Probably. Maybe. I don't know. He's an old, old guy. I don't, it, he hasn't really given me any reason to distrust him so far. Uh, I suppose. I don't know. Let's let's see what he knows about us. Especially the wall journal. Ah, corpse! Farod turns as you approach, his crutch clacking on the cobbles of the court. He licks his lips and uh, smiles expectant expectantly. Have you brought me what I asked for? Uh, the Bronze Sphere. Here it is. 15,000 experience gained right there. Yeah, this is the main quest. Uh, Pharaoh's eyes gleam as you hand him the Bronze Sphere. He touches it gingerly, almost reverently. You! He chuckles. Ah, corpse, such a gamble you were. And paid off handsomely, you have. And Pharaoh studies his reflection in the sphere and tsks. The, I the years have been cruel to me. Oh, the years have been cruel to me, I see. Oh, he's... Wait a minute, is that just a mirror? Is that meant to be a mirror? Well, I did what you asked, Farod. Now I want some answers. Farod doesn't even look at you as you speak. His attention is swallowed by the sphere he holds. Yes, yes, ask your questions. And Farod turns the sphere in his hands. Very important, your questions. What do you know about me? Why was I told to seek you out? Farod studies you with a critical eye. 
Stay your weapons for what I'm about to say, corpse. For it could be your ears'll take offense. Farod smiles wickedly. My ears no longer care, but yours are still fresh for the burning, it seems. Uh, t that sounds... Sounds very reasonable. You have my word, and I'll stay my hand, Farod. But I need to know what you know. The truth! Farod's stone softens as if cajoling. The truth was stretched a bit from my mind to my tongue when we first spoke, corpse. In all terrible honesty, I know little about you. And he raises a withered finger. Yet, hear me out. Uh, yes? You're a cutter who plays at being dead, as I see. Farod squints at you. Some time ago, you came to me, like you are now, but not... Just not... Just trolled right into Illwind Court and said you wanted an audience with me. An audience with you? Aye, an audience. Farrell chuckles like whispering send. Like I was royalty, he seemed amused, but there's an edge in his voice. You knew the right things to say, you did. Oh, yes. You spoke the chant like a governor, born and true. And I listened. But you were royalty, at least a man of position once, were you not? Once, Farrell hisses. Once. Titles. Only words. Nothing in the end. He lapses into silence, then tsks again. Knew that, too, my history. I think you did. What did he, well, I, want from you? Farrod gives a mock bow, his crutching creaking, or his crutch creaking as he leans against it. Oh, Farrod, great collector king, he says. I have come before you to request a boon. A boon, I says. What could I offer a man of such obvious strength? Uh, go on. Farrod wags his crooked finger. And you asked for a strange thing, you did. He sa you says, Lord Farrod, I asks for courtesy. Your collectors roam throughout the hive. Th throughout the hive. If they should find my body, I want it kept safe. That is all I ask. Farrod shrugs. A simple boon. I see. And is that all you know? Before you can speak, you suddenly feel a prickling in your skull as Farrod speaks the word boon. The sm and the smell of blood and fear rushes through your nostrils. Farrod is hiding something. Something that happened in the past, involving you, and it scares him. The boon he granted you was no simple matter. So you granted my boon just like that? There's nothing to be gained from it for you. Why did you even agree to do it? Farrod falls silent for a moment. A dead man can keep no promises, and promises to a dead man are easy enough to make corpse. You're a merchant, Farod. Not a Samaritan. There must have been a another reason. Aye, Farod's face suddenly peels back in fury, his skin flushing red. After you'd strung up a score of my blood on the hive walls to die, I had enough reason to promise you the planes themselves. Then your butchering self comes to my home, my keep, to demand a boon of me? Farod calms himself, though his face is still flushed. Aye, I agreed. Oh. So I basically intimidated him. Well, I'm sorry about your people, Farrod. Doubt wasn't me. But if I can make up th the loss to you, I will. Farrod tsks again. No matter. Them bodies served me well enough. The dusties pay the same for fresh debtors as for old. And was the only reason you agreed? Uh, was that the only reason you agreed to my request? Intimidation? You knew things about me, things only I knew. You knew I was greedy for something beneath sigil, and you put a name and picture to it. The bronze sphere, you said. I didn't think you would fetch it for me. And he chuckles. Yet, did you? Aye. The planes turn in strange ways. And that's all you know. All I know? Nay. But it's all I know about you, corpse. Fine. Next question. What well, did you take off my body when I, after I died? I? Pharaoh licks his lips. Why, I took nothing, corpse. His face splits in a grin. Then, I wasn't the one that found your body. Who did? Farrod's smiles widens, pulling the pasty folds of flesh back from his face like a curtain. My daughter, the rose of my eye, the sweetest of my family, and the sharpest wit of them all. And he licks his dry lips, sighs in mock sadness. Such a cruel tongue on her. Your daughter. Updated Ooh. my journal. My darling girl, Anna. Oh, Anna is your daughter? She found you, dead as deader can be, in a place where most collectors wouldn't go for a mountain of coppers. Could be she 
plucked something off of you, could it be not? And he leans in, shaking his head. You'll have to ask her, for it's not her dad's place to say. Uh. Don't lie to me, Farod. You're a merchant and you always take a cut from your workers. What did Anna give you from my body? Ah, yes, my tribute. Farod folds his withered hands over his crutch, almost protectively. There is no telling what was from you or not, corpse. Most like there was nothing. Uh, okay, so... He's playing with me, but he's being honest. That's... I mean, he's being... I mean, he, he really didn't take anything from me. He just took something that was from me, which is slightly different. Let's see what the what I can say over here. So, there's a couple of lines over there. Farad, my patience is at an end. There will be nothing left of you or this village if you don't hand over the tribute. So I'm just basically uh, intimidating him. Farad, my patience is at an end. If you don't ever, uh, if you don't hand over that was oh, what was stolen from me, I will see to it the dustmen know where to find you. Let's let's go with that. Yeah, um, let's go with that. Farad is silent for a moment. He taps his fingers against his crutch slowly. Well. Where has the decency of men gone? Farad grumbles, shaking his head. A courtesy I am doing for you, corpse. Such a courtesy. Farad parting with anything? It'll be the dead book for me if anyone heard. Wait here. M move not a yard. I shall return. Hmm. Wonder where he's going now. Updated my journal. After a long while, Farad returns, his crutch clacking against the flagstones. In his hands, he holds a number of items, which he passes off to you. You will be silent on this and accept the blessing that I... Uh, that I even remembered. A few hundred coppers, a scrap of paper, and a ring? Very well. Now who was it who found me again? My darling girl, Anna. She, okay, so he goes back to that. Alright, I'll ask her. Where is she? So I, I gained 25, oh, 250 coppers, a ring, and a scrap of paper. Okay. Where's Anna? Pharaoh shrugs. She's hiding in the shadows here, I expect. Listening to us trade the chant. I called for her after you went below. I had to ask her if you were really in the dead book when she found you or not. And he chuckles dryly, then takes a deep breath and calls out to the darkness. Anna, stop mithering in those shadows and come and greet our, our guest. She's here? In knowing the teachings of Zerthamon, I have become stronger. Well, he leveled up. Dakon did. Here she comes. You guys remember Anna? She was the tiefling that we found upstairs. Uh, that, that I said she was meant to join us, but she didn't want to join us. She's got an Irish, ac Irish accent, I think. Maybe. I don't remember. Oh, what? No. I think so. Yeah. You turn to see a striking red-haired girl, girl dressed in leather armor. You didn't even hear her enter the chamber. Her right arm is covered with a series of interlocking plates that look as if... They were taken from the skin of some creature, and a horned shoulder piece protects her left arm. Oddly enough, she has a tail that is flicking back and forth as you watch. You're Anna? I met you in the hive outside the mortuary, correct? The girl ignores you and turns to Farod. What's this about, then? I'm not playing the leash pool with this scarred dog, so I'm not. Get, a, get one of your other ghoulies to do it. Anna? Oh, Anna, rose of my eye, have I not taught you to respect the dead? A thin smile warms across Pharaoh's face, and he makes a slight bow towards you. This resourceful corpse needs to know where you found him. Hey, what are you talking, or what are you on about? She squints at you. He's, a, not, he's not a debtor? I yes, my mistake. And Pharaoh nods, then his voice drops dangerously. Yet, my darling Anna, that still makes it your mistake. For this one only had one foot in the dead book when you brought him to me. And he taps his crutch against the flagstones with a light tap. He woke up, sought me out. Most embarrassing. So, Anna glances at you then shrugs. He shouldn't be playing dead on the hive while I'm about. Or he'll wake up in the Dusty's arms, he will. Uh... Well, maybe you could have checked to see if I was alive before dumping me off there. I mean, it sounds like common courtesy, I'm gonna say that. Oh, I and maybe you should have been more careful, and maybe you, sh you wouldn't have to be lying face down on stone steel in the alley of cobbles, on the alley cobbles like a dead eye. Uh, maybe I shouldn't. Oh, wait a minute. Let's not. Pr yeah, this is outright threat over there. Maybe I should show your filthy corpse pirate hide what it's like to be lying near death in an alley. Let's not say that. Uh, yeah, enough of this. Where did you find my body? Show him where you found his body, Anna. Farrell taps his crutch again for emphasis. Take him to the haunted alley. 
Farrod studies Anna for a moment, then greens and turns to you. If you, happens to n if you happen to lose my darling Anna on the way to the alley, corpse, you come back and see Farrod. I'll guide you. Updated my journal. Tch, Anna says. She sneers at Farrod, then throws a glance at you. Come on, then, and keep your steps quick, Jig. I'll, uh, I've little time to waste on the licks, likes of you. Uh, sure, very well. Let's head there now. Anna points at the door in front of you. Through there's where we went to be. All right, let's head on in. Okay, and now we have Hannah on us. What, oh, uh, you know, you know, on our team. Uh, what is she? She's a fighter and a thief. Okay, I'll take that from you. Thank you very much. We also have a simple ring. Save versus poison. That is a stupid ring right there. Uh, you can use that over there. Uh, and we've got Merc over here. So we got things to give her. Uh, she's my... She, well, I could, no, that's not a thing. Let's basically... Can, I, can she use this? No, she can't. Let's put that over there. Just things. Dirty rat charm. Can you use this? Because this is for thieves. Yeah, okay, good stuff. She has a punch dagger. Uh, eh, it's not very good, is it? It's not very good. The other one is better. And as common weapons are a pair of jack daggers, blades mounted, uh, or jack dagger blades mounted on iron knuckles. Yeah, those are weird. Okay, and then in the mortuary key, we got a few things over here. Uh, I don't think I have any. Can she use this? No, she can't. Uh, okay, I think we're good. I think we're good. So, what is she like? What's her characteristics? So, she has 18 dexterity. That's great, actually. It's fantastic. Okay, fantastic. Let's level him up. Uh, one hit point gained, one hit point from constitution bonus. Spell memorization abilities have increased. So that is okay. Pretty good. Let's see what I can do here with the spell memorization. We're going to go with the scripture of steel right there. And then uh, balancing all things, and that's that. Does she have spells? No, she does not. Nope. No priests either. Can I? Priest girl. Yeah. There we go. Okay. So where are we? Oh, the painted door or to tenement of thugs. Well, I think now we know how to get through there. But for right now, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Planescape Torment. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and leave a comment, like the video. But above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you Done. next episode. Bye bye.